What's going on guys? It's Kale Fazkin here and today I'm gonna make something very special. Now, what I'm gonna make is a very delicious grilled cheese, but the cheapest one you can get and the cheapest one you can make yourself. Now, it's not exactly grilling, but I'll show you what I mean. So you get these Hawaiian rolls, you open it up, Hold on, I'll set my camera up. There, hopefully it doesn't reveal my face. It'll only reveal my hands, if anything. <sighs> All right. Getting the bones out. All right. Now, it's time to get the... How to do it like that. Then we grab one of the, what, with some of those ugh, buns. Now you cut them in half. There we go. Now let's get the cheese. I'm looking for my cheese. I'm looking for cheese. Oh, there's my cheese. Ugh. Hold on. I'm trying to get my cheese. My delicious pieces of cheese. All right. Got the cheese. Now let's do this Faz Kid. Let's do this the Faz Kid way. All right. Now it's not the best camera angle. But you'll see how. What I'm gonna do, I cut this in half. All right, open it up like little little clams that have pearls in them. All right, now open up the cheese. Okay, okay open the cheese. You actually might need to use some scissors, but not scissors so big that actually. Actually, I don't think we need any scissors. I believe there's a way. Maybe I got the wrong cheese. Can't believe I got the wrong cheese. However, that does not mean I don't have any cheese. That's why my mom packed me some of those cheese. There's some good looking cheese. Tall enough to not have my face revealed. So that's good. It's actually pretty good. Alright. Should have some cheese like this. Now, what to do? You have to cut the cheese into quarters. So that you can get some so that you can get some tiny little squares. Cut them into four squares. A square of cheese made of squares of cheese. You'll see why. You actually have to use this kind of knife to get precise cutting. Now I'm using the pink, but don't even think about roasting me because otherwise I'll plan of a comeback if you ever dare to roast me. I'm gonna roast you like the chef I And the dogs are barking. But hey, it's not too important. And, and the dogs just want to keep on barking and barking and barking until the very last straw has been torn out. Alright, I'm gonna put my cheese back. Now to grab some of the scrap. Shut up. Well, I'm gonna put this knife. Now the reason. Shush, dogs! All right. My dogs are just like some of those lawnmowers that you hear at 3 a.m. in the morning when you're still awake. All right. 
Now that we've made the grilled cheese, you can actually put them right here. Now that we have our grilled cheese, who left their popcorn here? Let's move the popcorn out of the way because we don't need those for our tutorial. I'm making my cheese, not popcorn. All right. Once you, once you made the grilled cheese, you should cook them at least 10 or 15 seconds. But the maximum amount is 25, 20, ah, too much. Hold on. 25 seconds. See what happens when you cook it for 25 seconds. Warning. This may be hot. So yeah, I'll catch you back when it's time. Grilled cheese should be ready by any time mm -hmm. now. Oh! Looky there! Our grilled cheese is made. All right. More like microwave cheese, but oh well. It's homemade. Now that you have those warm little honey bunches. Pat them. Let's just pat them to make sure they cool down. And uh, yeah, this part might be sped up. All right, now that we have our grilled cheese, let's take a bite. Mm, mm. So delicious. Mm. I'll have another bite. Mm. Mm. Exquisite. This should be your aftertaste. You know, having a delicious taste to your homemade grilled cheese. Or should I say, more like a microwave cheese, but oh well. Mm. Mm. And that, everyone, is how you can make your very own homemade mac grilled cheese without grilling any cheese. And uh, if you want any more cooking tutorials, make sure to like and subscribe for a week of memory with this recipe. I've done that to my own channel and it worked. So yeah, bye.